educational rewrite, female reproductive anatomy, the vaginal opening and associated structures. Let's take a closer look at the anatomy around the vaginal opening, an important part of the female reproductive system. At the border of this opening lies a small fold of tissue known as the hymen. This thin, elastic membrane partially surrounds the vaginal entrance and varies greatly in shape and appearance among individuals. In the vestibular area, the region between the labia minora, small openings can also be seen. These belong to the Bartholin's glands, which produce fluid to help maintain natural lubrication. The hymen itself can appear in several naturally occurring forms. Some of the common variations include cribriform hymen, with several small perforations, microperforate hymen, with a single small opening, imperforate hymen, where the membrane covers the opening completely microscopically, the hymen is made up of non-keratinized stratified squamous epithelium, supported by connective tissue containing elastic fibers, small blood vessels, and capillaries. During fetal development, between the 6th and 20th week of gestation, the hymen forms as part of the development of the urogenital tract. It represents a remnant of the vaginal plate that separates the developing vagina from the vestibule until canalization occurs. Throughout life, the hymen changes naturally due to hormonal influences. In newborns, it may appear thicker due to maternal hormones. During childhood, it becomes thinner and more delicate. At puberty, increased estrogen levels make it more elastic and vascular. In adulthood, it maintains this elasticity. After menopause, hormonal changes can make it thinner and paler again. Clinicians assess this area during routine pelvic examinations to check for any abnormalities, infections, or structural differences. Other nearby glands, such as the Skene's glands near the urethra, also contribute to normal lubrication and reproductive health. In summary, the hymen is a normal anatomical structure that naturally varies from person to person. It develops before birth, changes with age and hormone levels, and serves as an example of the body's natural diversity and adaptability.